he grab tight, 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 tight. Change it. Now when he reaches back, because he, he noticed you backed out of there, he's going to think to himself, he doesn't like it, I'm going to go back to it. He reaches back up to my head. Okay, right there. Okay, so the second that he comes back, make sure there's a little distance. Weak, with my arm sticking out, extended, strong. Weak, strong. So when I grab somebody and I get on that collar, I'm grabbing Ryan and I keep my elbow in and I keep it nice and tight so I'm controlling this guy. Okay, here. You ready, Ryan? Let's do it. All right. Teach me grappling. I'm back in town in Cali and uh, back from the UFC. This is our first video since. Vince Bichel uh, got the win for us over Roosevelt Roberts. Um, exciting fight. I would have loved to get the finish, but uh, we weren't able to. We had some good opportunities. Outstanding fight. Um, today's move is not related at all to Vince's fight, but um, we were going over a high crotch, and I was talking about setups with one of my students with Nico and he was asking questions and I just thought this would be a great learning lesson for you guys to learn about uh, these two different setups for the high crotch so one of them <clears throat> he could have a collar tie is an elbow control okay so when I grab the elbow control my thumbs on this side my fingers wrap around and I'm grabbing basically above the elbow sinking my I, I don't want to grab way up here I want to grab near the elbow and I'm like right here. Now, when, when I have this and I rotate, I want to rotate my shoulders and my torso and get in here. Yeah. The positioning, see my shoulders, see the connection. That's a real common uh, move. The, the elbow control and you rotate. But what we've been doing today was the post the post high crotch or the post high C, we call it. Um, on the post, I'm going thumb up. So it's not here, it's here. And this is really common, okay? Really, like you'll see a lot of guys do this, but maybe they don't really understand when to do it or why, how to do it. Posting here and getting a space so you can get inside, so you can get to that leg. So uh, watch what I'm gonna do. If he's kind of high, I'm going to give you a philosophy here. If he's kind of high, which right now Ryan's high. He's, he's, he's not in a low position. He hangs on kind of tight. See, it's real hard to pull his elbow out. I can't pull it out. You know, be tight. Yeah. I can't like pull it out, but I can change levels. Okay. I can change levels. So when a guy's generally high, because he's strong in this position, I'm going to change levels and post. Hold on tight. I'm going to change levels and post. When I do that, my right hand's going to shoot up the crotch. Some people wrap low. I'm going to come up the crotch with my head up. His leg will probably go back. No, right. Just lean over and put your leg. Yes, keep going. Yes, like that. His, his leg will go back. And then I'll turn and then come up the butt. And then we'll see how this one goes to here. And then we'll come to a double or the waist. And then I'll lift and run the guy down. Okay? And take the guy down. Um, on the elbow control, I prefer the elbow control when the guy's in a low stance. Because when the guy's super low, I can't post this up. You guys see how I drop to my knee? I can't get this up. I don't have power. He's too low. It's better when he's low to use the elbow control because you have more leverage in this low position. You're gonna do better with this technique. Okay, now he sprawls back. And you see how I make this pivot on my knee? This leg will rotate, he sprawls back, sprawls back. And now I'll rotate to this position. And now I'll jump around, wherever the angle. Now I can, same thing. I'm running back this way, driving, popping my hip. Taking the guy down. Okay. So, when to use the post, when to use the elbow control. 
This is not an absolute. It's not. So I could make the argument that even in the high position, I use an elbow control. But this is just a general thing that I like. Shorter guys, if you're real short, you're probably going to really like the post. Okay, you're going to like that post. The tall guys, they like to pull. You got long limbs, you like to pull. You pull that elbow. The more his elbow gets far away from his body, the easier it is to rotate that thing and then get in. Um, if his elbow is close to his body, like arm wrestling, it's hard to rotate it out, okay? I have to really get low and then now rotate and get in. Two different setups for the high crotch, both outstanding. Um, the high crotch uh, elbow control uh, entry. The other thing I can say about this, which I always talk about, I never let, a, I don't stick my neck out. I don't let the guy grab onto my neck. Like that. If he grabs my neck and he slams that elbow shut, guys, I can feel his ulna against my collarbone. And it kind of hurts a little. He's tight, real tight, yeah. Right there. If you guys get this, this is a hard arm to pull out. Ryan is super strong right here. Look at Ryan with his biceps. Flex that baby. Yeah, look at that. It's hard to pull out. Now the other thing is, his elbow hits my shoulder. You guys can see, like, when I try to pull it out, it's, it, it's running into my shoulder, see this? And it's hard to pull it. So it's really important, guys, that I get some distance. Now notice his elbow is not touching my chest. So now when he tries to pull me in, let's say my right hand here, I'm bracing against him. And I'm here now, and I set that elbow control. Now, when I change levels, I can rotate and bring this elbow here and my head can rotate. You notice there's nothing impeding my elbow control. Okay, there's nothing impeding it. Like there is, if he sucks me in tight, and let's say he confirms it with a with an, uh, hook grip right there. Now, you guys are gonna go, I can't, I can't shoot. So of course you can't shoot. It's not a good position. So when I'm here and he's holding me like that, I basically try to break out of the position I keep a space creator with my right hand, and then when he reaches up with his left, you see that elbow's not touching. I can bring my shoulder forward, and I wanna, don't get confused here, I wanna touch my shoulder to his arm. I don't want his elbow in my chest. I want it on my shoulder. So I bring my shoulder forward. You notice some kind of shrugging here. And then now, I can grab that elbow and get in. As I come to this position, I'm in a good position to finish the takedown, okay? So, shoulder comes forward for elbow control. If I'm gonna hit a post in the same way, I wanna be here, I don't want a guy lodged here on my neck, stick my long neck out there, and then try to expect to post him. This is hard, guys, don't do this. If you end up here and the guy gets a good grip, change it, he, grab tight, 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 tight. Change it, now when he reaches back, because. He, he noticed you backed out of there. He's gonna think to himself, he doesn't like it, I'm gonna go back to it. He reaches back up to my head. Yeah, right there. Okay, so the second that he comes back, make sure there's a little distance. Weak, with my arm sticking out, extended, strong. Weak, strong. So when I grab somebody and I get on that collar, I'm grabbing Ryan, and I keep my elbow in, and I keep it nice and tight, so I'm controlling this guy. Okay, here. If Ryan gets me out here, he's able to post it, change levels, pull it, push it up, and there. Now, last thing I'm gonna say about this, and I could do videos on this for a while. I'm sure you guys will like more details. How do you step? Do you step with an inside step or an outside step? Different people do different. There's nothing wrong with either one. They're both great. But I will say this, this is what we were doing today. Use the outside step for the more upright. If somebody's more upright, I'm gonna do this step. I step simultaneous as I do the technique. I push off my right and I step to the outside. It eliminates a step. So when I'm here, he's tight, 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 yeah? When I'm here, I step, 
and then my right leg will step across and I'm ready to lift, okay? So I go one, two, one, two. Instead of the traditional inside step, which is a lot better when you're low because when you're low, you have to penetrate. So if he's super low, it's hard to penetrate like this. It's a lot easier to get here and to slide in there. And now when he tries to get his hips back, I'm ready to go. Changing off here, here, and down. Okay? So there's some info for you. You like that, right? Yeah. Lots of details, guys. Um, again, the, the, some of these things, I, even as I'm teaching, I'm thinking to myself, I want to show this, I want to show that, I want to show, I want to show. Guys, there's, there's so much to jujitsu and wrestling that you guys can explore. There's more good ideas out there that I did not show. And um, what I'm showing is just kind of like guidelines that I give my, my wrestling team and my grapplers here at PG. So hopefully you liked it and you learned something from it. Okay, try the, some of the stuff out. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. If you guys want more, different ideas, let me know. Um, I'm back. I got lots of new stuff. I got all kinds of new little series I'm working on. So please stay tuned. Click the like down below. Click the uh, Patreon link or PayPal link and contribute to this channel. And uh, that's it. Yeah. We're out. See you guys later. Boom. Okay.